Dun 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 What are we doing today? Hey Are you ready for Dad Vlog Friday? <laughs> Cycling day. So I'm sure you're wondering, like, why the heck I just took a trash can and threw it into another trash can. We live in an Ohana unit here in Hawaii, which is like a back unit to the main house, essentially. And so we share the main trash cans with Chelsea's parents. So we have to. Like, we have our own trash can, so we dump into, like, the main trash can. Whatever. That was recycling. Today's Dad Vlog Friday. Chelsea's gonna be joining us for a little bit today, too. Um, but yeah, before we get started, though, I want to show you something really cool. If anybody knows me, they know I love The Office. Check what I got in the mail. So lately, I've been, like, super into, like, into pins because of my jean jacket. And, um, so I've been collecting, like, all... So I've been collecting all these pins, and so I ordered a couple of pins online like a couple weeks ago, I think, and check them out. Oh yeah. Prison Mike and Date Mike from The Office. Doug McUgly, Date Mike, Prison Mike. So funny, I love it. it they're, I'm gonna have a lot of pins on my jacket. Can I have the um, banky? Yas. Do you have a house key? Yas. Okay, let's go. Yas. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Chris Rosario. If that is broken. It's not broken. It didn't fall is hard Is it filming? Enough. Yeah, it's still filming. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Good morning and welcome to Dad Vlog Friday. I'm tagging along for the morning. Well, I mean like not really. Chris minutes. is driving me to work so he can use the car. The mom van. The mom van. Uh, today's different. Today's a different Dad Vlog Friday because we have a what's it called prenatal? Oh yeah. Appointment today. So like Chelsea's going to work for a couple hours and then we're going to go to the appointment because it's important. <laughs> Go check on that baby. Yeah. She's too cool. I'm getting rid of Frida. Getting rid of me. Anyway, so, uh, so while Chelsea's working, we are gonna do something. It's probably gonna start with eating breakfast somewhere. <laughs> All right. Have a good day at school. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Oh my gosh, she's Daddy, pregnant. Bobby. You want to see Bobby? See Bobby? Yeah, you see Sabrina? <laughs> she asks for you all the time. Uh, you want to see Bobby? Maybe we'll see her. I don't know. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. All right. Chelsea has been dropped off. Eva and I are going to go eat some... <laughs> Stop that smoking, am I right? <laughs> um, that all was a disaster. Uh, anyway, Chelsea's at work. Eve and I are gonna go eat some breakfast. And then I just remembered we left the frickin' stroller at home. So we have to run home, get the stroller. And by then it'll probably be time to pick up Chelsea to go to the doctor's appointment. the strollers first before eating breakfast the strollers that we forgot at the house so we're gonna eat breakfast in Kailua I think yeah should be good uh, but before that oh yeah cookies I don't think so that's not a breakfast food I mean it can be a breakfast food but that's that's a breakfast food in college 
<laughs> yeah, breakfast. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll get. Mm, I already dropped it once today. Breakfast is complete. Now it's time to just kind of hang out. Today's Dad Vlog Friday is like a little, not boring, it's just a little like normal. Like we're not doing anything super special because of the prenatal appointment later. But breakfast was a success. Did you like breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, cool. yummy. Yeah, it was yummy. <laughs> All right, let's go. So the child just texted me, the appointment's been moved, so even I now have like 10, 11, 12, like three hours to kill. <sighs> so I guess we'll just go to the mall in Kaneohe, Windward Mall. I know we say change of plans a lot in our, in our vlogs, and this is another one, change of plans, the appointments later. I, fun, fun little fact about Chris is I like to plan my days. I like to know what's gonna happen during the day. I don't like random days because sometimes I feel like days that are just not with like days that you just don't know what's going on, they're wasted to me and, and I hate that. I hate wasting days. It's not that I want to be productive like every day. I could honestly spend the day on the couch watching through like the entire Star Wars series including the three terrible ones in the beginning. I, I, I could do that and I would, wouldn't consider it a wasted day if I planned on doing it that day. But when we have days that like we don't know what we're doing. Like it really, it just, it's, an, I have, I get anxiety. The other side of that though is when we do plan something and the day, like today wasn't necessarily completely planned out because we had this appointment like in the middle of the day, but Chelsea just texted me to say that it was moved to two o'clock and I'm not mad about it or anything, but it gives me a little bit of anxiety because now I have to come up with like, now we're, now we have to do something. Like I have to keep my daughter entertained. Are you not entertained? At least for the next few hours um, before the appointment. But like any time a plan changes, it gives me anxiety. Does that make sense? So I like, I like having my days scheduled out. I don't necessarily have to be productive. They just need to be scheduled. And I don't love changes in plans, even though that's the name of our YouTube channel. It's just, it happens a lot. You'd think I've gotten used to it by now, but I haven't. Anywho, change of plans. The appointment's at two. like hour walk around the mall I think I'm gonna go try to tire her out at like a park or something now Okay, let me help you. All right, one fun quick ride to Chinaman's Hat. Oh, it's so hot out there. We made a fun quick ride over to Chinaman's Hat. And um, now we have to go pick up Chelsea to go to the prenatal appointment because it's important. It's a beautiful day, it's just really hot. I love living in Hawaii. 
It is gorgeous. We'll talk about all the other stuff some other day. But for today, just know Chris Rosario loves living in Hawaii because it's gorgeous. All right, we're here to pick up Chelsea. I don't know if she's ready yet. Hello? Hey, you ready? Yep, in the front. Yep, we're in the front. Okay. Okay. Bye. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? You're getting tangled in your flowers. You ready? Ready for what? Um, I have to, this is one of those places where you have to Ticket, bring it all the way back. I know, that's why way. I looked at the number. In the video camera? No, on the parking spot. Oh, I'm just gonna take a picture of it. Try not to get our license plate. Almost ate it. <laughs> just now. That was bad. eating all this food by myself. This is all for us to share, so don't hate on me. Worst policy for any restaurant on the planet. Give your customer <laughs> refills if you have a soda machine there. It doesn't make any sense. Also, don't charge them for an entire drink just to get a refill. Stupid. Other than that, delicious place to eat. Let's play the terrible lighting game. <laughs> <laughs> Eva thought it was funny. She's in the black void back there. Anyway, good appointment at the doctor's, good lunch at the udon place. mall and we're here for two reasons first of all what what do you think we're here for I don't know because I have a surprise party waiting at the mall for Chris I doubt that no first we are going to get Eva a an outfit or a costume oh yeah it's gonna be fun <laughs> we get to go to the Disney store yeah so we're going to the Disney Hotel tomorrow to celebrate her second birthday and have breakfast and have breakfast with all the characters like Mickey, Minnie, and all that. So we want to get her a mini outfit, and so we're gonna pick something out. Maybe go to the Disney store. No, we Almost. have to go to the Disney store. The Disney store is amazing. It's magical. <laughs> and then the other thing is we are headed to look at a couple of options for Chris's Father's Day gift. Hey. -o. <laughs> and I say options because Mama. I really wanted to explain something. Anna needs to listen. Well, I asked Chris what he wanted for Father's Day, and he gave me a couple options. And you you kind of added to the list over time, and, and there was a couple things that you are like, well, maybe I want this, or maybe I want this. Anyways, we've narrowed it down to two things. Yeah. And the reason that, I, I it's just easier for me, and for us as a couple, <laughs> for me to just let Chris pick out what he wants for like birthdays and Father's Day, and all of that, because he thinks that when 
he leaves it up to me that I get him a random thing. So okay, time out before you go and smudge my name to everybody. Daddy. It's not that it's random things. I don't know. I like them, but it's like a pair of socks. Like it's not. I don't even wear socks. I don't buy him pairs of socks. Uh, I know exactly which pair of socks I'm thinking of right now. It probably was for like a stocking stuffer for Christmas. It was not a stocking stuffer. It was for my birthday. He's really particular with what he wants and I don't want to get him these random things that he won't appreciate. So we go to the store and, and I say, okay, pick out your gift. So Father's Day is on Sunday. So I like to pick my own gift because, okay, I already, I explained it. This is turning into an argument and I don't like this. I explained it like this. Okay, there are only certain days of the year where I actually get to ask for something. And on those days, like I don't just randomly go out and buy things for myself that are more than like $15, okay? Every once in a while, yes, I buy a t-shirt from Target. But like, I don't just go out and buy things, right? So whenever someone says, what do you want for Christmas or your birthday and now Father's Day, I try to be really careful with what I answer where I try to make sure I have like a list of things in my head that are like, have I always wanted this? Do I want this for this occasion? Am I actually gonna use this? So I'm really, really careful. And that's why I'm so particular because these days only come a certain amount of time. I know there's gonna be a ton of people out there that are judging me the whole time they're watching this conversation saying you're very Wait, ungrateful. But no, but let me just say, I'm not saying that I'm frustrated by it. What I'm saying is this is what works for us. I let him pick out his gifts. So here we are at the mall so he can weigh his options and pick out something that he feels is exactly what he wants, right? Yeah. Disney store, we were looking for a Minnie Mouse dress for Eva, for Eva's birthday. No such luck. They had, we saw it last week, but I think they had like a sale or something, and now it's gone. So I think she's just gonna end up wearing like a Minnie Mouse t-shirt or something to the breakfast tomorrow morning. 